I pop on and share my June favourites. Yes, I wondered about the month then, my June favourites with you. I have a couple of new things and uh, yes, so let's just get into it. First of all, this has always been a favourite of mine, but I haven't actually tried this. This is the Boots um, Botanic Soothing Eye Makeup Remover All Bright since they repackaged it. Because I fell in love with the Nivea 2-in-1, the Biophase, so I've been repeatedly buying the Nivea and I've kind of, I just, I just forgot about this. Uh, so the other day I was looking at Boots and this was on offer, it was half price, so I thought right I will go back to that because if you remember correctly when it was in its original packaging it was like a green, like a mint green, it was still Biophase but it was just a different colour. Um, so they revamped it and they repackaged it and they did this a very long time ago, <laughs> I'm totally late to the party, but they did this a very long time ago, but I thought I'd pick it up again to see if I still liked it and I do, I think it's brilliant, it's got brightening hibiscus in it and it removes waterproof makeup. It's fabulous, and if you can see, it's a bio-face, so you just shake it up. And it's on offer for one ninety nine at the moment in Boots, which I think is great, because it's usually three ninety nine. Um, I love it, I think it's brilliant. I, d I don't know whether they've changed the ingredients, I don't remember it having hibiscus in it before, so they've probably added that since I bought it originally, but yeah, it is still a firm favourite, so I'm very, very pleased to report that I still like it. It's great, and as I said, it's on offer, so if you're interested in trying it, or stuffing up on it, rather, then go and do that now, but um, brilliant. I kind of, <laughs> it's so funny because I was going to go and get my Nivea, because I always buy the Nivea, it's the blue one, I always buy that, and that wasn't on offer, and this was on offer, and I was just being cheap really, but I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out like that, because it's really, really nice, so I've rediscovered that. This is a new range, and I've never seen this, and I've never heard of it, but Funnily enough, since I posted my picture, it's been popping up all over the place, so I don't know whether it's just because it's on offer in Superdrug at the moment and kind of bloggers are getting their hands on it, I have no idea. But this is, I think it's, it is exclusive to Superdrug, this is the Café de Bain Delectable Home Bathing Range, and they do shower creams and uh, bath creams, which is what this is. And they're on offer at the moment, they're one forty-five. they half price, they're better than half price, something like that, but they are on offer. And they looked so lovely. I actually had, at the time, once again, a Nivea, I had a Nivea shower gel in my hand, and I was like, oh, I'll get that, whatever. And I just saw these, and I thought, oh my goodness, they look gorgeous. But usually when things look this pretty, they don't actually smell great. And these are all based on kind of like patisserie smells, so I thought, I'm not a big sweet scented person anyway, so I thought, well, so took off the lid, which I'm sure you're not supposed to do to have a sniff and oh my god this is raspberry and rose creme tart this is amazing they do a coconut one they do a macaroon one which i think is uh it's almond based but i hate anything almond based Ugh, so that was not one for me and they do another one but i can't remember what that is i think it's vanilla but this one was the one that really kind of leapt out at me. Absolutely amazing. And they do have their own site. Um, it is cafedebain.co.uk. And it's interesting because this is actually made by the people that make um, Ami Skincare, which I mentioned years and years and years ago in a video, which is kind of like teen skincare. So this is actually the same the same brand, but they are well hidden. I think it's only because they're on offer at the moment that Superdrug has decided to put them kind of pride of place because I have never seen them before. Onto like a hand thing, and I'm, I think this is in my, if it wasn't in my last favourites, it was in my favourites before, but this is a different scent, so it's allowed. This is the fun edition from Carrots, it's the bubblegum scent. I, the last one I featured was the cola bottles, and um, this is amazing. This takes me right back to being like eight. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. It's meant for kids. The whole point of this uh, Carex kind of fun edition range is for children to wash their hands more or want to wash their hands more, but it has that effect on me. So um, it can't be a bad thing, right? But I just think it's fab. And this is also on offer. I'm, I feel like, like the offer person today. I'm, I'm, I'm helping you out with, with your purchases. This is also on offer. It's a pound in boots at the moment. So um, yeah. Uh, they do a, a chocolate orange one as well, and they do strawberry laces, and what else do they do? It's another one they do. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I just, uh, oh, I love this. Very childish, but I don't care. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a lovely scent, so that's the bubblegum one. I, out of the, the two that I've tried, this one and the cola bottles, I think I'm pretty evenly matched on, on which one's kind of a favourite, because I love them both. But I wanted to change, so yes. Silly, silly purchase, but, you know have to have hair wash, so why not have something else? Uh, three makeup items. Two of them are kind of oldies but goodies, and the first one is the Urban Decay Super... Blah, 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 blah. What am I talking about? The Subversion Lash Primer. What was I saying there? I don't 
don't know. I don't know what I'm saying there. Anyway, Sub Virgin Lash Primer. I've had this for a while. I've sent it before it came out to buy, so that will tell you how long I've had it. But it's brilliant, and it hasn't gone clacky, and it hasn't kind of gone all funky. And it is just a white lash primer, and I have it on today because I filmed a, like a modern kind of vintage pin-uppy look. And if I look totally different colour, I don't know why the light is so cloudy in here or out there, and it's reflecting in here. Looking very strange. Anyway, but uh, that's not intentional. I don't actually look like that in person. So yeah, so I used it today, um, and it's something I kind of forget about because it's an extra step, and I'm kind of lazy. But it really does make all the difference. And I've got Max Factor's Masterpiece Mascara over the top of it, and it's amazing. So if you're looking for a really nice um, lash primer, because I know Dior do one that's a little bit more expensive. I believe this is seventeen pounds. That this one is brilliant, and it lasts forever. It doesn't dry out like a mascara would. Another Urban Decay product, um, which I only tried for the first time like last week, terrible. I got this as well before it came out and I just, I couldn't bring myself to wear it or use it, so I've just been looking at it. But it's one of their Sheer Revolution lipsticks in the shade Slow Burn. Oh my God. So I wore it the other day and I posted a picture on my Instagram. It's so beautiful and it looks like this. But as I said, it is the Sheer version as opposed to the original Revolution lipsticks, which are completely pow in your face. I really, I have to say though, when you wear these, the sheer ones, you really can't tell the difference. The only difference is I suppose they're a little bit more glossy in their appearance, but the color is still amazing. So that's in slow burn and I'll swatch it for you. They're just, just amazing. I love these lipsticks. And also, in case you didn't know, Urban Decay are coming out with a matte Revolution lipstick line, which is very exciting. <gasps> very exciting. So when I get my hands on those, I will do, obviously, I will do a video for you because that's really exciting. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to the matte Revolution. Uh, one more makeup product, and then I'll move on to two totally different products that aren't bath, body, or makeup related. This is the uh, Rouge Bunny Rouge. Uh, foundation and this is the, I've got it upside down, <laughs> this is the Coconut Milk Parfait uh, Milk Aquarelle Foundation and I've, I'm wearing it today and this is something I just gravitate towards and as you can see I've used, I've used quite a lot. Um, I just gravitate towards this foundation, this is in Coconut, the shade Coconut. I love it, it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's pretty pricey lane, interrupting what I'm doing. It's pretty pricey, but it's well worth the money. I just think it's gorgeous. It, I've had this for a long time, and, it, and I use it. I've been using it pretty much every day recently, and it just doesn't seem to... it doesn't seem to end. It's brilliant. It smells lovely. It just goes on like, like cream. It's amazing. If you are looking for a nice... and this is high-end, but if you're looking for a nice high-end foundation, then the Rouge Bunny Rouge uh, Milk Aquarelle is a wonderful foundation range. They do a couple of others. Um, but if you're looking for one for a recommendation from me, this is it's brilliant. It's such a nice range. On to something totally different. Now I was sent these um, kind of ahead of their launch. They have launched now, and these are by a company called In Your Dreams. It's Esperential Beauty is kind of like their tagline, and they started out um, kind of as in Ibiza on the clubbing circuit. Now they've moved to having kind of stalls um, and being vendors at festivals. And the idea is that it's kind of, they, they do makeovers as well, which is brilliant. So you can go there and get your makeup done at a festival. Um, and there are bindis, this is a, their bindi cluster in Duchess. And it looks like this. Now I haven't used this yet, but I will be featuring some of them in a tutorial very, very soon. I just wanted to show you before I kind of fiddled about with them. So that's Duchess. And I have one in Goddess, which is beautiful. So these have all come back into fashion now, and I'll show you the things I'm, I'm kind of mainly talking about in a minute. And this is the Aztec Bindis, or these rather, not the Aztec Bindis, aren't they gorgeous? But this has come back into fashion now because I also have two of their temporary tattoo packs. And it's so funny because when I was younger, temporary tattoos, as I'm sure a lot of you, you know, uh, would agree temporary tattoos for like all the rage uh, and I, st I you know I still remember actually a funny story I remember once I don't know how old I was but I remember once I had like a rose uh, really kind of artistic uh, rose designs um, on a temporary tattoo sheet I was quite young and I put one on my neck and it was so funny because it looked real so Obviously, I was told to go and wash that right off because it did look real. It was, it looked ridiculously real, you know, on a 10 year old, totally absurd, but it did look real. So these have all come back into fashion now. Um, but I have to say, they didn't really have, 
And I have to say, they didn't have anything kind of th like this when I was younger, because I would have been all over that. But they're just, they're fabulous. So the first that I have are the from the Native Soul Collection, which um, I didn't want to use them before I showed them to you, because that you have to cut them off. You know, you know how you do. You cut them off, and then you wet the back of the paper, and then they peel off into your skin. And I didn't want to show you things that have been cut up and fiddled about with. So um, I thought if you're interested, you can go and check them out. And they sent such a lovely press pack. Um, it came with all this stuff, and it came with two... Uh, free festival makeover kit vouchers and just brilliant stuff. I love the way that they package their press releases. It's just, it's nice to see a st like a startup brand putting so much effort into something. And this is kind of like the catalogue of stuff that they do. Love their pictures. And it's inyourdreams.com, but inyour-dreams.com. So that's that. And they're really, really reasonably priced. They're between £4 and £5.95. So it's really reasonable. And they do sell these at festivals and everything. So if the mood takes you while you're at a festival, you can go and get them there probably because they're, they're at every single festival. Um, and then the, we have the uh, Parlour Metallic Temporary Tattoos, which I'm really excited about because these are like silver and gold beautiful and as i said these are all the rage they've come back into fashion they're all the rage i mean these are a little bit more sophisticated obviously than the ones i had when i was younger um but they are they're just i think they're gorgeous they're such a nice idea and these are the ones that go um just on your fingers i'm really looking forward to trying these they're beautiful absolutely beautiful um it's such a nice way to kind of incorporate like body art but without going too crazy um, i love the press image for the uh, Native Soul collection as well. Gorgeous. So I thought I would mention those because they're, they're really lovely people and they're an interesting brand and I thought you guys, if you're going to festivals, you're going to hold there, whatever, you go to, you know, you're a party to go to or something, they're really interesting and I haven't seen anything like this per se in the shops. So that's why I thought I would mention it because they've been sitting on my desk and I'm like, oh, I must talk about those. And then I thought, well, I don't want to talk about them before I've used them, but then I don't want to use them before I've talked about them. So I thought I would just let you guys know. Um, they've just opened their site and their shop and everything and they're doing free postage and stuff like that. And um, So if you're interested, it's uh, in your dreams.com. I'll leave the link down below. Their stuff is really, it's really interesting. I think it's very interesting. I, I like the idea of it. I like things that are different and especially companies that put a lot of effort into what they're trying to sell. So I like that. So that's in your dreams. I think they're a brilliant company. And one last product, um, which is not beauty related at all, but I, I love it. I'm very excited to have it. And this is by Filofax. Now I Instagrammed a picture of this a while ago. And uh, yeah, it's, if you look at the Filofax tag, actually, I think it's Filofax love tag on um, the hashtag on Instagram. Oh my God, people go nuts over their Filofaxes. It's like a whole hobby. And I think the idea is really brilliant. And well, funnily enough, it goes in with like the temporary tattoos as well, because your temporary tattoos come back into fashion and Filofaxes have come back into fashion. And what's the other thing? Uh, the colouring books, the adult colouring books. It's really strange. We're having like an 80s, 90s moment at the moment. It's very, very odd, but I'm very grateful for it. I think it's a really nice idea. So these are the new refillable notebooks. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. And they look like this. And they're not Filofaxes in the traditional sense of planners, because they don't, I don't know, they just don't really appeal to me. But they look like this, and you have your little ruler. And then you have your... Um, dividers which I took out from the they're at the front. You have your dividers and some of them have I think the blue one's got a little pocket in it like that. So you can put stuff in. And you put your dividers wherever you fancy. But what I really like about this is that you can actually take the lined pages out. Um, which I've never come across before. I've never come across being able to take the pages out without ripping them out. So you can just unhook them and then hook them back in again. Isn't that a great idea? And you just hook them back wherever you fancy. So if you've written something in, in some place that you didn't want it to be, you just hook them back in round the ring binders and, you know, you don't have to rip the pages out because I hate doing that on notebooks. So this is something that, oh, and they've got plain pages at the back and there's also graph paper. This is something I think a lot of people will love because, not just because it's a different thing from Filofax, but because they're so cheap. They're only $12.99, which I think is a fabulous idea. Um, and that's the A5. This is the one I've got. They also do pocket notebooks as well. Um, and yeah, I'll leave the link to Filofax down below, but they're such a good idea because I've never really owned anything like this. Strangely enough, because I'm, I'm you know, I'm used to it. I don't really have time anymore. <laughs> I'm always writing, so I've never actually owned anything like this. But you can get the refills uh, for them from Paper Chase and places like that. You can also get them from Filofax. I think it's such a cute idea. Because I think when people say Filofax, they think planner. 
Whereas if you don't want a planner, if you want to be a little bit more fluid with what you're putting in it, then I think the, the new notebooks are such a good idea. They're brilliant. And if you want to look at different reviews of them, oh my goodness, put the Firefox notebook into Google and they're just, it's like, it's a religion for people. Firefox is a religion for people. I never realised. It's just it's crazy. It's really interesting to read. But if you're, you know, interested in uh, more about it, then go and just go and put that into Google. And they do all sorts of different colours as well. Fabulous. So yes. Very happy with that, very, very happy with that. So, those are my favourites and kind of introduction to different brands. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that guys. Leave me a list of your favourites or a link to a favourites video or blog post or whatever if you've done one. I'd be interested to read those and see those. And yes, I'll leave a link to everything I mentioned down below. So I hope you're having a good day guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.